So uh, Kento, Kenta Nishimoto, the number six seed from Japan. Our next match, obviously, Nishia. men's singles, and it's a battle of the bronze medalists because Nishimoto uh, was a bronze medalist at the last Asian Games, and his opponent, here he is, Misha Zubelman, who was a bronze medalist at the last European Games. The last European Games happened last year in Minsk in Belarus. Lost in the semi-final stage to the eventual gold medalist, Anas Antonsen. So those are the matches we've had so far, all of our matches, as you can see, in two straight games. And the men's singles, Kenta Nishimoto against Misha Zibelman. So uh, this uh, from the top half of the draw, indeed all of our matches are from the top half of the draw, and as with the women's singles, this is the third uh, or the second uh, quarter. Uh, so the bottom of the top half of the draw, if you understand what I'm saying. Only two okay. seeds uh, in the top Check half okay. of the draw. Uh, Rasmus Genka, the number seven seed, the other player. So this, as you saw, will be the second meeting between these two players, the only previous time. It was this man, Nishimoto, who won, but we're going back seven years, 2013, the Korean Grand Prix gold in Jeonju, and he won 21-14, 21-12, when his opponent, Amisha Zhubelman, was in fact the number seven seed in Korea. So at the time, seven years ago, it was a very big result for Akenta Nishimoto. Yeah. So as far as this man is concerned, Nishimoto, 26 years of age, uh, born in Mia and uh, currently number 16 on the world ranking as uh, the third ranked Japanese player on those world rankings that were frozen after the All England Championships. Has been as high as nine, a total of eight weeks across three different spells. And he's making his fourth consecutive appearance here at the Denmark Open. Two years ago was his best year when he reached the last 16 and lost out to Wang Yuxiang, having beaten Erasmus Genka in three games in the first round. And Gemper, as I was just telling you, is the only other seed in the top half of the draw. So to Amisha Zibelman, uh, born in Moscow, uh, but now representing Israel. Second appearance here, 10 years after his first appearance, uh, which was back in 2010 when he lost in the qualifying. Entered four times since then, but his ranking hasn't been high enough to get into uh, the tournament. Two-time Olympian, likely to become next year, providing the Olympics do indeed happen. Of course uh, it will. A third-time <laughs> Olympian. Uh, been in 17 career finals, has Zubelman winning nine uh, titles. But uh, the best he's ever done at... Uh, World Tour event is a last 16. That was last year at the German Open, which is a 300 event. So this is a big step upwards. And of, of course, it's always a tall order for any player playing against a seed within the tournament. So he's certainly got his work cut out. Now, before the players get underway, I have to say, Zibelman makes me feel very old because I used to play against his, his mum. <laughs> I, <laughs> I <did>. knew that. <laughs> yes. Do you remember yeah. Svetlana Belasova? Yes, I do. Of Russia? I do. What a fighter she was <laughs> on court. She was she used a great to run fighter. and run and run. Yeah. Yeah. And, the, and then sometimes I think they actually still play mixed doubles I together. Think, I think you're right. On, Be on the circuit sometimes. Because she often travels as his coach. Yes. I don't see her here this year. And he used to play in Denmark as well for one of the clubs at a, at a certain point. I can't remember which one. Yeah. I actually possibly Ladies think it was the Denmark. On my right, I actually think it was. Japan. 
I have to look it up. And on my left, Misha Silberman, Israel. Misha Silberman to serve. Love all. Play. So, Misha Silberman getting this match underway against the number six seed, Mishimoto. Oh, he's thinking about having a challenge. Yes, it's a little rash to have a challenge on the very first point of the match. to say, Morton, I'm um, absolutely delighted to see Nishimoto here and, of course, also uh, Okuhara, the number two seed in the women's singles, and the top two pairs in the women's doubles. doubles yes. The uh, two Japanese women's doubles pairs who have battled out for the World Championship title at the last two World Championships because an awful lot of Japanese players have Three, not made the journey, including the two-time defending champion, Kento Momota. Yes. Yeah, it's got to start somewhere. Yeah. And, uh, you have to commend the Danish Badminton Association for the hard work they've done to try to secure this. You, you really have to commend them for that. And the BWF. Yeah. I think it's it's been a wonderful effort. And as you say, we've desperate. I've been desperate for World Zero Badminton one, to get underway. One, I'm I sure the players agree. have been desperate. The fans the only have one. been desperate. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. And every journey has to start with a first step. Yes, exactly. Well done, Danish Badminton and BWF. Good rally. Yep. Yeah. Service over for one. There's always been a problem for Silverman in terms of you know scoring his own points. If it, when you watch him play, he's so quick on his feet. He covers the court so well. Good technique and all that. However, it's, it's like the quality of his shots are still, you know, not sharp enough and it forces him to run a lot. And sometimes when he's got good chances, he's missing them. But it, it really looks good when you, you know, you watch him play and you think, oh, this guy, he could do better than that. But the quality of his shots is letting him down now and again. And he finds it very difficult to score points. Do you not think perhaps as well, added to that, that He's so fit and he loves running, he loves chasing the shuttle, that it's almost as if, he, you know, he forgets, right, now I have the opportunity, let's finish it off. Yeah, but perhaps. Yeah. I, perhaps, I, I can't say, I don't know him that well. No, me neither. But uh, it just strikes me that he, you know, when you when you watch him play, it, it looks good, he's quick, he's, he can play almost any shot in the book. However, he doesn't score any points himself. Or not uh, enough. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, Martin. What were you saying? Five. Yes, well done. Well done. <laughs> Hats off for that. That was good to see. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. And our uh, number two. For the immense power. France, oh, my goodness, completely this time that. Six, three. And uh, Nishimoto is just uh, doing exactly what I think he should do. Keep it calm, keep it simple, keep it going. Wait for the chances, wait for the mistakes. Uh, don't do too much.
They are facing from Denmark, Emil Lawrence Mess Moorhold. That's gone long. More than in the introduction, I was saying it's the battle of the bronze medalists from the Asian Games, last Asian Games, and the last European Games, these two players. Neither of them were seeded at either of those tournaments to be in the top four. So is it fair to say both surprise bronze medalists at those two events? I think before the Asian Games, you wouldn't have picked Nishimoto, the number eight seed. I think that's a fair comment. Yeah. That's a fair comment. But they took their opportunities. Well they done. Did. They did. That's what sport's about. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That is nice. Lovely. Eight, three. Sorted it down the line. Oh, behind the back. Oh, a little bit of trickery there from Nine, Zibelman. Three. In the end, no avail, but that was pretty impressive. Take a look at this. Wow. Isn't it so very often that, you know, you, you get all the impossible ones yes. back and then the simple ones you miss. Ten. Five straight points to Nishimoto. Well, it's going wide. Make it six straight Eleven, points three, for Nishimoto. And to the mid-game interval with an eight-point advantage. So, as we thought, Zubelman without a coach. No, I think that's Yosuke Nakanishi. Yeah. Twelve three. I have to say, Morton, I do like these shuttle dispensers. I think it's much quicker. I mean, they've obviously been brought in yeah. so that uh, the service judge doesn't have to handle the shuttle before the players touch it yeah. uh, I, for I, obvious reasons. But it's so, really so much quicker. Yes. It's brilliant. <laughs> Great initiative. Enhancing the game. It might be a, a permanent feature. I do hope it is. Yeah, that's a good so glimpse on that from Zibelman. So it was eight straight points in the end for Nishimoto, and that's come to an end. Oh, my goodness, you could tell, wouldn't you? The timing was all wrong. That's why I found the net.
15-4. He reminds me a little bit sometimes of Vitinghus. <laughs> yeah. Zubelman. Do you know yes. what I mean about the, you know... The walk on court. Yes, and, yeah. and the fact that he covers the court so well, but doesn't, in my opinion, often enough, uh, try and take the initiative in the rally. No, as, as I say, the, the, the problem is that oh, it's, it's out. Just wide by yeah. a whisker. It is. He, defensively, Silberman is, is not strong enough and he's forced to attack as much as possible. Um, too many mistakes are coming from his racket and the problem is, as I say, the quality in his attack is simply not good enough for, you know, let's say, mm. top ten. But he's, he's, he's amazing to watch in so many ways because he's so quick. Over 6-16. And if you looked at the match without looking at the score, and you had to guess the score, mm. you wouldn't have guessed 16-5, 16-6, 17-6. No. You wouldn't have guessed that. No. 17-6. Well, I was looking at this man's results in the early hours this morning. This morning, yes. And I noticed that he beat Anthony Ginting. Going back four years, so Ginting was a real youngster then, but he's also been to three games against Wietinghus and Kadambi Shrikamps. And that was in the last 32 of last year's World Championships in Basel. It was. But I, it, again, in all fairness, it must be said that Srikant had a really, really difficult period of time. Yeah. Yeah, around. I don't, don't argue with that. But when you look at the level yeah, yeah. of tournaments that sigelman has been yeah. playing, yeah. the Challenger Circuit, the International Series, Future Series events and, as well. And suddenly he, he, he gets it right on the day. Yeah, yeah. So he's certainly got the capabilities of... Uh, making the score line a little closer than it's showing right now. Yes. Oh, that's gone wide. It's done that on a lot of occasions already. That, from f that flick from the forehand cross is going out wide very, very often. Eight. Two points away from the opening game for the number six seed, Mushi Moto. One point away. Twenty game point eight. Good play. Yeah. Really well constructed rally there from Silberman. Oh, that was a delightful last shot, wasn't it? Well, instead of going for the flick on that forehand net, just yeah. guiding it across court for a Yeah, it was really well shot. played. That's wide. 
second time of asking and Kenta Nishimoto takes the opening game against Misha Zilberman. 21-9 opening game in 15 minutes. Final rally, clearly wide. And opening game. でも十分大丈夫だね。あと低いと思ったらやっぱり飛びつけが結構あるから。動きがすごく良いじゃん、動きが。だからこっちがしっかりさ、全部返しますよって姿勢を見せれば、相手ポコって見せるからさ。何を
finals if you include the World University Games, otherwise yes. six yeah. uh, World Tour events or, you know, uh, BWF sanctioned events. He's never won a title. I think it plays on his mind. And I, and are you with me that that probably affected the result in Thailand at the beginning of the year? Yes. Yeah. I I saw it, and yes, I agree. Yeah. Three, four. Were you calling that match? Were you in Thailand Masters this year? No, I don't think you were. No, I was not commentating, but I no. was I was there. Oh, okay, okay. I was not coming past day. Yes, I was not commentating, but I was there. Yeah. yeah. Such a long time ago, can't remember anymore. That's out. That's, it. That's a pity. You're, you're right. I mean, the work rate Service in that rally from Zilberman, yeah. excellent. Five, yes. Three. But he just can't finish off the rally. Can't play these these winners. He's he's just missing or it's just not good enough and his opponent is getting it back and getting it back with interest. Yes. And then, of course, playing Nishimoto, who is, I would say, a really solid defensive player. It's not making yeah. it any easier. It's, it's, yeah. it's a tall order. Six, three. That's a good lift. Oh, pinpoint accuracy. Wonderful. Wonderful shot from Nishimoto. Just proves my point once again that the secret behind a good defence is a good lift. And Nishimoto is really doing that and then of course finishing with this wonderful smash at the end. Oh my goodness. So five straight points for Nishimoto. Nishimoto, forgetting that he had to go and click <laughs> the shuttle himself. <laughs> yeah. The system really works well, as you say. I, uh, I love it. Even before you arrived, I thought, this is good. Yeah. Missed it. Service over for 10. That's a real missed opportunity 11, from Zibelman. 11-4, the advantage in the second game to Nishimoto as we go to the mid-game interval. Having already won the first, he's looking very much in command. So, Morton, another quiz question. Oof. Before the last two years with Kento Momota winning. There was only one Japanese player to win the Denmark Open. And men's singles. Uh, men singles. Court one, and it was even before seconds, your time. One, and I know you know the fella. Seconds. Because... It's Kojima or... Yes. yes. Well done. Kojima, yeah. He was actually fantastic to watch. Yeah. It was before my time, but I saw him play when I was a kid yeah and I went to see what we call the international yeah and he played one year he played Rudy Artono I think 
in, in the well, Denmark Open. He won the Denmark Open in 1969. 12-4. Yes, yeah, change. Yeah, the only good option would have been Kenji Senya who um, is now the secretary, I think, the general secretary mm. of the uh, Japan Badminton Association. Yeah. Service over, That's nice. Really well played. Very good. Lovely shot. Six. Twelve. That's a good high, <laughs> clear to the back of the court. That was very deep. Oh, dear. Service over, 13-6. Was that mistimed again, Morton? No. Yes. And it was going almost upwards. Yeah. It was supposed to be sort of a flat but downwards attacking shot. Ended up being this time and going upwards. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Did he change his mind there? No, but I think the spin on the shot from the Silverman was good. Really yeah. good. Oh, yes. That's what I mean when I, I talk about closing down the net. Yeah. That's exactly the situation. Tight spinning net shot from Nishimoto. He's doing it really well. He can see it's tight enough. He can stay in. Look at that. And he's ready to punch yeah. it. It's yeah. uh, text perfect. Yeah. Yeah, the shuttle, the lift from Zubelman, deflected by the net cord, giving Nishimoto a very simple opportunity to put it away. Oh, that's sweet. A little turn of the wrist at the last moment. Great the deception. When Ishimoto wants the shuttle change, the woman says, no, I'm very happy with this one. This is a winning one for me. Yeah. It's got a 
like a lucky charm <laughs> to it. That's a good spin. Jamming body smash. Tried to sway out of the way to give himself the freedom to play the shot, but then his timing was off. Yeah, trying to get some room to play. Yeah. 18, 10. It's too early to say, and um, 19, 10. Nishimoto is not really under pressure, as we can see. He's winning <laughs> two straight games fairly easy. But if he's playing well, I think he's definitely a title contender. Yeah, if, he's play, I, if he's playing well. Yeah. Match points have arrived for the number six seed, uh, Kenta Nishimoto. Game. And converts on his first opportunity. Comfortable victory for Nishimoto. 21-9, 21-10, this is the final rally. The block from Zubelman finding the net. So safely through to the second round where Nishimoto will play against either Brice Lovadez or Kai Schaefer. And they're on court right now. But there is confirmation. Safely through Nishimoto.
So welcome back to day one of the 2020 Denisa Denmark Open. Back with live badminton the world tour, back in action. What a wonderful thing to be able to say. Kenta Nishimoto, the number six seed, safely through against me.